My name is Steve Strandos. I'm the Chief of DAF Esports at the Air Force Services Center in San Antonio, Texas. I'm a military brat, traveled all over the world growing up as a kid and have worked for the military for the past almost 11 years now. I always kind of thought I wanted to be in the military. That was kind of a dream of mine. And then kind of realized there were other opportunities outside of that uh, where I could grow a beard and a little, bit, a little bit of weight gain. And so I graduated college and started putting out applications. When I started out working with the Air Force, I was in the marketing department and a lot of what I tried to do with my teams was do things differently, be innovative, creative, kind of outside the normal way the Air Force has always done things. And so to see an esports program that was started and flourishing and get a chance to take part in that and kind of push the envelope with where the Air Force and Space Force have been historically was just too good to pass up. So I like think I typed my resume up in about 30 minutes and was like, please, 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 and hit send. <laughs> I'm not young, I'm 37, but I know how important video games is. I was on deployment in the United Arab Emirates for eight months, and I remember going into tents that our airmen were in, and they had entire setups to play video games with their friends and family back home. They would get off of work, they wouldn't go to the pool, they wouldn't go to the bar, they'd go back and play video games and connect with friends and family. And so I've seen that impact firsthand of what, you know, conversations can happen, connections that can be made, and knowing that that was a new way for us to connect to our airmen and guardians that was something that i wanted to be a part of working with you know people like rally cry getting involved in the marketing event planning finding new ways to give back to those who have given so much for our country and sometimes get forgotten about my mission is to serve the community that we have we have over 32,000 members in our community online and my job was to serve them we get told that we're in charge but we're really not we serve our leadership as well well as the community. You know, we're the source of we fight for the funding to do events like this one here at Ramstein, to do the leagues and tournaments that we have online. But it's my job to listen to the community and say, what are you guys looking for? What do you want to see? What's the next big thing in esports that you're looking for? And how can we best meet that need? I think the thing that surprised me the most is just the passion of our airmen and guardians. I've worked you know, 10 plus years and I've seen people, you know, get excited to come to events and stuff like that. But to see the passion that people have for video games and how serious they take it. And one of the biggest hurdles that we face sometimes with leadership is, oh, it's you're going to watch people play video games. And just discussing with them how it's much more than that. It does build a community. You're having those conversations. They have conversations about mental health, about resiliency. Hey, I'm new to this Air Force base. Who's here and can kind of help guide me? And to see those airmen and guardians taking care of one another and being extremely passionate about everything involved with, with gaming has just been an eye-opener for me. All of our ambassadors, our players, our game ambassadors, they're all volunteers. They work their normal nine to five or sometimes even longer than that and then come home and, and put dedication and time into our community. They're running our servers, they're doing the coding on the back end, building gaming tournaments at their installations and just they do this all for free because that's how passionate they are and that's just a rarity sometimes to see people put that much time and effort in for free. I think the sky's the limit as long as we keep getting our leadership buy-in, competing in tournaments like this, getting more countries and nations involved, maybe getting some teams that can compete at the professional level. These guys and gals are good. I'd like to see what we could do against some of the, uh, the you know, the well-known professional teams in the future and see where that takes us. My favorite moment so far has been when we went and picked up the RAF guys at the gate and we brought them into the venue and their jaws hit the floor. They're going, wow, you know, this is all for us and we're all doing this. Their amazement was made me happy. That smile that they had, as soon as they left to go get lunch, they sent a message back in our Discord saying, this is an amazing event, like we can't wait to get started. So to see that, to see the cooperation between the Force Support Squadron here at Ramstein, Mike Bellotto and his team, anything that we need, we've been able to call him within five, 10 minutes, he's got a solution for us. Working with Rally Cry, working with the Service Center team, working with you, know, you guys, to see video games bring people together has been awesome. There's also a grand mother in there with her two grandkids bringing them in because her grandson heard about this event and wanted to see it and seeing Adam Mears give him a tour of the behind the scenes stuff and piquing his interest in an industry that he may not have known existed. Hopefully he'll join the Air Force Space Force one day but if not you know to see him exposed to a career in esports that I'm sure now he's going to go home and ask his grandma to google things for him so that he can see what other opportunities there are out there. And through some of the founders of AFG there's a world esports leaders chat to be a part of that 
and talk to our counterparts from the Netherlands, from New Zealand, from Belgium, France, Canada. You know, we were hoping that we'd get a few of them here this year, but now because of an event like this, the Canadians were secured funding for an event like this next year. Other countries are using this as their like, hey leadership, look at what they're doing here in Germany without us. Just imagine what we could do for our service members if we participate in these kind of events. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking to have this event and get other countries involved and out here to compete with us. Air Force members and Space Force members, thank you for everything that you do. I grew up around, you know, service members like you and just truly appreciate their sacrifices every day. Folks that are here in Germany, yes, it's awesome to be in Europe, but they're away from their family members back in the States. So we appreciate what you guys are all doing. To our international partners and allies, see you guys next year.